Hey guys, welcome to the Tech Source. This is our installation video for the Corsair H70 High Performance CPU Cooler. Um, we've done an unboxing video of this already. Uh, if you want it, the link of it will be right there. So, without further ado, let's get to installing it. And we're going to be putting it on a Socket 775 motherboard, and which has a Q6600 processor. So stick around, guys. It should be good. Alright guys, so Dave already said that we're installing this on a 775 motherboard and um, basically the 775, 1366 and 1156 uses all the same bracketing hardware, it's just a matter of uh, the different holes. So literally, I'm showing you this off the installation guide for three different processors, later we'll show you the AMD installation guide as well. So um, for no further ado, we're going to go ahead and you're going to remove your CPU cooler. So this one, I already removed everything off of it. As you can see, it has lots of old thermal gel. So you want to go and uh, remove all your old thermal gel with like a, a Kleenex or a microfiber cloth. Then after, you want to take some uh, rubbing alcohol and clean that all off really good. So now you can see our CPU is nice and clean. We just used a microfiber cloth, put some rubbing alcohol on it, just wiped it down really good. Don't want to pour rubbing alcohol on it. You just want to put it on the cloth and just wipe it nice and gently. Uh, got all the old shit off. Now we're gonna mount. Now we're gonna set up the new bracket. So um, so you're gonna want to refer to your installation guide our H50 installation guide for our H70. Um, basically, so step one, we're going to want to grab one of these crazy screws here, grab another one of these, let's grab, I don't know if you can see this in the shot, uh, let's grab this, put it through the hole, and then... Uh, Let me zoom in on your fingers. Okay, and then... Right here. Move down. There you go. And we just put these in. Down a little more. Just going to set these up. So we're going to do all four of these, and when we come back, I'm going to uh, have all four of these, and we'll go for the next step. So now that you have all your screws and the mounting hardware all set up for your socket, um, next, you're going to want to mount your back plate. So it gives you uh, two double-sided uh, tape spongy things. I'm not going to stick the double-sided tape to my motherboard, because I'm switching motherboards within a month and a bit, so there's really no point. And personally, I usually don't like switching and doing that. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to peel off one side and stick it to the uh, to it. So I'm just going to do it like the instructions. It says put it in, put it on like that. Just real quick. So there. So it's just it's going to it's going to add some nice retention on. So if you wanted to stick this to your motherboard, you just peel off the other two and then it comes out the side of tape. So it doesn't move, but you don't really have to do that. So next, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put these through, uh, these are the little silver things, I have the screws, so the screws can slow in, so you want to pick your socket, is that in the shot Dave? Yep. So there's 1366, 1156, and a 775, so I'm doing 775, so we're going to put it in, and you just want to do all four like that, and uh, get them in, so they fit, and do all four, and then after that we're going to screw it down. Alright, so we took the back plate and we put it through the holes uh, on the motherboard. And now since I'm not using the tape, it's actually ten times more difficult because I have to get the tape to hold it for me. So it stays in because the tape is kind of pushing it out because it's applying more pressure on the board. So next what you want to do is you want to grab your bracket, stick your bracket on the board, line them up with the holes. I'm probably covering half the shot. Uh, let me just get one of them on. And we're just going to want to tighten them down. Simple as that. And we'll come back once we have all this tightened down. Alright, so now that you have it all screwed down, now make sure you don't tighten it too much. Just tighten it to the point where the screws stop turning, because you might strip the screws or break the mounting system. Now if you have a case that has a, 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 um, a CPU cutout hole that you don't need to take out your motherboard like mine, um, you can just go ahead now and just install the cooler, but since now I have to put my cold computer back together, we'll come back when the computer's all together and we'll install the cooler and do the final step. Alright, so now we're going to show you how to install the H70 into your motherboard. So first, if you have a rear fan, you're going to want to remove that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that as fast as I can. Alright, so now to install your fans, you want to put the washer on the long screws that they have uh, specified in the instructions for your CPU cooler installation. So you want to put the uh, one back fan on it. Now, Corsair says they want the fan cool air drawn in from the back of the case, sucked in, hot air going into your case. Now, I don't really like that. And one of Red from Reviews guys have ran at both configurations, it blowing hot air out of the case and blowing sucking in cool air and blowing the hot air in your case. They said there's not really big of a difference. So I'm going to run it 
uh, blowing the hot air out of my case. Um, I got lots of cooling, so it should be fine. So uh, now let's install this and try to be very careful with it. It's not smashing it around. Uh, line that up, do a little hand tighten, and install the first screw. Now, I've seen on um, reviews, people have said they've ran this on single fan, like the H50, and ran it on dual fan, with, um, like the way they say this should be ran. Now, you're going to run it with dual fan, it's a lot better cooling, but with a, if you want a quieter configuration, and still better cooling than the H50, you can run it with a single fan, because the rad is thicker than the H50. It's pretty cool. Alright, so I was going to install the second fan first, but I found out I didn't, you don't get a lot of clearance. So first you're going to want to install the CPU cooler itself. So take off the plastic cover, be very careful now because now your thermal gel is exposed. I'm going to want to turn this. Oh man, this is tight. This is definitely the wrong case to install it in. The only reason he's installing it right now is just to give you guys a little heads up on how to do it. And he's going to be buying a much better case soon anyways, so we'll just reinstall it in that. Probably do another video too. I am having some technical difficulties. Alright guys, so we took off the plastic cover on the cooler, and um, I kind of made a miss, uh, made a miss, uh, mistake, mistake, yeah. And the instructions, when I said tighten down your retention plate, don't do that actually. If you read the instructions, I didn't, which I didn't read correctly, um, it won't fit your cooler, so you gotta loosen them up. So, um, if you just read the instructions and uh, not do what I did. So, now you just put it in. Come on. Stay there. Turn your cooler. Clockwise. Clockwise or counterclockwise, whatever way you see fit. And tighten the batch down. Once it's secured, you just tighten the screws down. Um, don't over tighten them, Corsair says. Yeah, it's just a rule of thumb. Never over tighten anything. It's, it's not good for it. Risk stripping the screws or especially especially on plastic, like a metal, you can tighten a bit more, but I wouldn't over tighten. Just tighten until it stops turning and it's good. That one's tight, and uh, yeah, we'll come back once it's all set up. All right, so now that you have everything tightened down, you're gonna want to probably peel off your protective uh, coat in here. And, uh, and then after that, we're going to install our second fan. So, bam! It's all shiny. This looks cool. It sucks, though. I don't have a, case, I don't have a uh, window in my case. So you won't be able to see this badass cooler. And my next case won't either. My 600T that I'll be buying. So, we're going to put the first screw in on you. On this uh, fan. And then after, we're going to hook up all the... Uh, we're going to hook up the, the dual fan slot. And hook up the CPU... Uh, the pump, actually. So the pump goes to the actual CPU fan slot, guys, just so you know. And as a side note, ensure that um, all the crap that would might slow down the CPU fan for quieting it or basing on CPU temperature is disabled. You want that 100% voltage and um, going, to that, going to that CPU fan port on the motherboard at all times, of course it recommends. Um, the actual fans in the radiator itself can be regulated, and you can mess around with those, but... Don't mess around with your. Yeah, the uh, pump rack. needs uh, needs um needs uh, the highest level of power possible. So make sure it's it's got it. And do not over tighten the screws on your coot on your rad because you could if you tighten them too much you might pierce the rad itself. You don't want that. So just tighten them till they stop or so you can't turn them like because you do definitely don't want to over tighten anything. And please use only the spec screws Cosair provided. Do not use any other screws, because um, you could, again, wreck your rad. Especially for something that costs $120 Canadian. Plus tax. Plus tax. 13% HST. Yep. So, uh, which one's which? There's our CPU, our two fans, so we got that. Um, gonna have to turn that fan later on. Wow, that sucks. That one fan header is way down there underneath my rad. So I'm going to have to find another place to plug that in. That's where I was hoping to plug it in, so we'll do that. I'm going to have to figure that out later. But, easy enough to install the CPU fan. Plug it in right here, CPU fan header. It's in a good, good convenient spot. And uh, that's it, guys. And uh, we'll show you some temps at the end of this video after this. Show you the temps and how good this is versus my old cooler. And, uh, yeah. 
See you guys later. Thanks, guys. Remember, rate, thumbs up, and subscribe. And stick around.